to operate in the realm of love, the steps must be taken. You walk, you take steps. If love must be real, if love must produce, steps must be taken. Question is, what steps should we take to walk in love? How do we walk in love? Number one, by walking and receiving the enablement of the spirit. We can walk in love if we walk and receive the enablement of the spirit of God. By walking and receiving the enablement of the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is the Spirit of love. Romans chapter 5 and in verse 5. He said, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. By the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 6 and 7. He said. Sorry, Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 and 7. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that... You stir up the gift of God which is in you by the putting on of your hands, of my hands. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Everyone who genuinely has the spirit of God carries the spirit of love. Literally praying in the spirit is praying in love. Is praying in the language of love. Any Holy Spirit a person carries that makes them hate their wife or their husband must be questioned. Flowing in the spirit is flowing in love. The more spiritual you are, the more love-filled you are. Men and women of the spirit are men and women of love. Le koko barata sha koko bagalaka yada yada dashta. Ze koko peke teke leke preke to koko baba. He said the, the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. So every time by the spirit of God, every time you are flowing in the spirit, you are irrigating your heart with love. I know what I am saying by experience. After I've prayed in tongues for one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, or how many hours, and I've been flowing in the spirit and praying. When I step out of that closet, I feel like embracing and hugging everybody. Honey, how are you? My wife and children. Until one day my wife said, this way you look, can you return back there? So that you can look like this permanently. Just return back to the closet. Return back there. You can't, any closet you came from and you are screaming and shouting on everybody, it's possible you met somebody but not God. And you are screaming and hating everybody and everybody is running away. Smith Wigglesworth had an anger, anger problem that was so terrible. He said when he became angry, he would be vibrating like an electric cable. He was so angry until he would tell his wife, don't go to church. And his wife told him, you are my husband, but Jesus is my Lord. I will respect you, but I will obey my master. And she went to church. 
One day he locked the woman out and she was lying by the kitchen door. And she, when the man was opening the, the doors in the morning, opened the kitchen door and she fell because she was sleeping by the door and she fell inside and she stood up immediately and asked the man, good morning, sir. What would you like to have for breakfast? After she has been locked out and slept outside. So when Jesus said, my wife loved me into the kingdom. Loved me into the kingdom. After that, Smith Wigglesworth became filled with the Holy Ghost. And he said that his heart became as tender as that of a child. It was Smith Wigglesworth who said, being filled with the Holy Ghost is experiencing the life of luxury. He says, a luxury living. He says, his heart became as tender as that of a child. That is what the genuine Holy Ghost does to a person. You can almost not hurt a fly. You can't hurt your wife, hurt your children, or hurt people. No, no. As tender, heart as tender, the love of God is spread abroad. When next you, the Holy Ghost makes you to speak in tongues, asking to help you to speak in love, 